hello guys welcome back so we are going to start working on the swiping screen for that first of all we will implement a controller which will control the user profiles which we will retrieve now from the database and display it on our swiping screen so right click on controllers new dot file you will give it name as profile controller class profile controller which extends the getx controller we need a list of type rx list with the help of our person model class as it will contain the user profile information or you can say the person's information so we can give it name as user users profile list we initialize it as an empty list of rx type list person and then list person we'll give it name as all users profile list the accessible name for our this list values or you can say this list data so we can say user profile list dot value which is accessible by this all user profile list now we need to call the on init built in method and here we are going to first get the all users from the database of course later we will apply the filter function I mean the filter feature where the user can filter out between males and females between different countries where the user wants to search profile and so on but for now this is the default view which we are implementing so what we can do here is uh, we can simply say that we will populate our this list with the user's profile information so we can say users profile list dot bind stream firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and the collection is already you know the users collection which contain all users profiles or you can say all user information and without the current user for example if I am logged in inside the app I am the home screen let's say my name is John so it will not retrieve my profile okay I do not want to see my profile on the swiping screen because I cannot like my own profile or make my own profile favorite market favorite or see my own profile okay so we will uh, without my profile all the profiles we are going to retrieve so we have to add here a weird condition which will in which we will filter out you can say for now that is we do not want my own profile other than my profile we want to retrieve so that's why we basically have this UID here for each user we have the UID which is as you can see this thing so we are adding a weird condition on that and we will say that is not equals to specifically which spe specifically inside the users inside the users where we have all the profiles where we have all the profiles we do not want that UID is equals to is not equals to the current user UID that is my ID if I am an online user I'm use I'm on the home screen okay so I will not see my own profile so that's why we say is not equals to where the UID is not equals to the current user ID so we can say firebase or dot instance dot current user dot UID 
so where the UID is not equals to the current user ID which is an online user let's say I am on the home screen so I am an online user so it must not be equals to my ID other than this we have to get all the profiles so we get all the profiles other than this and then let's give it name as query snapshot which is basically the data using this query data snapshot we have now access to each person information for example for this who which is which belongs to the user Angela Smith so we have access to all this information and to this whole information and to this whole information that is each and every information we have access without the online user let's say if the online user is let's say John which is let's say this one John okay John is online user who is on the home screen so without this profile the other three profile information we are getting okay because we have specifically add this where condition for that that the UID must not be equals to the current user ID okay so other than this one two three these three profiles it will retrieved or let's say if there are many it will just retrieve and that profiles information we can access using this query data snapshot so what we can do we can create a list which will be of type person and we can give it name as profiles list and we will run a for each loop and we can say each profile in query data snapshot you know that this query data snapshot contains all the users profile okay all the users profile without the current user profile so we run a for each loop on it and one by one each profile we will pick from it and we will add it to our this list now we why we are adding it to this list as you know that the information which we retrieve from the firestore database it comes in json format so we want to convert that to proper normal format so that we can access it by its variables or you can say by its attributes name which we can do with the help of our person model class that's why we created that person model class as you can see okay using this from data snapshot each uh, json value we can access by its attribute name for example name from the json we can access by name attribute or you can say by name variable so that is why we created that person model class and that is why we run a for each loop on our this query data snapshot one by one we are picking each profile from it so let's say if there are three four profiles which is in, which is inside this query that's not that a snapshot you can say so this for each loop will run three times make sure to add here documents okay let me tell you all the users profile are inside it okay all documents so the for each loop let's say we have three profiles according to the current scenario so this for each loop will run three times so first it pick the first profile from it and it add that inside our this list of course first it convert that each profile information to proper normal format using this person dot from data snapshot which is this one okay as you can see and then for the second time before each loop will execute then it pick the second profile from it and then that second profile it convert to proper normal format and it add it to that list then for the third time the for each loop execute and it pick the third profile from the from this that is from all the documents the third profile it pick and that third profile we first convert to proper normal format and we add it to that list 
So as according to the current scenario, for example, we have only three profiles inside the Firestore database. So that's why this for each loop will execute only three times. And then after the for each loop, we will return our list, which is profile list, which contains the all the three profiles information according to the current scenario and please make sure to remove this semicolon from this map ending parenthesis okay just remove that 